Good yeah, morning so. and welcome to another edition of Catching Up with the Tolbers. I just love that name, the, the reality show feel to it. Catching Up with the Tolbers. I am here with attorneys Shalise and Michael Tolbert and there's a lot going on and I would just want to say good morning to you both, counselors. Good morning. Good morning, yeah, how's it going? Where are the donuts? Where are the donuts? Uh, no donuts, okay. but oh, no, no. I have on special garb today. I'm wearing a shirt dedicated to entrepreneurs saying we are relentless about our business and about our purpose, courtesy of my good friend Latrice Edwards. And I thought today, a Friday, would just be apropos talking to the two of you. You are relentless about your purpose and you are relentless entrepreneurs. And so that explains my um, attire today because I knew I was going to be in a law firm and you all were going to be all dressed up and ready for court. I am not, so I'm not trying <laughs> no. to go to court. <laughs> you are good and, and, and because of the purpose that you explained, I will let you get away with this black and gold today. Oh, ooh, ooh. thank you. <laughs> we are cougars, true and true. You're right. I didn't even think about that. Well, That's who just made the shirt? Who made the shirt though? Oh man! Or, we or said who, Latrice Edwards. Man, where's Latrice from? Uh, are you mad? High school, baby. Are you mad? High school, baby. Yeah, yeah, high school, it's like two of y'all. Right. Of y'all. So okay. off topic. So anyway, <laughs> we're catching up with the Tobers, yes. and I want to just start off with a magazine cover. Huami magazine out of Indianapolis featured the two of you. Bravo! Photos provided by Waylon. Our boy. It was an ex uh, an exceptional article, and I know I made the outreach, but you all carried the ball. I forgot I made the outreach and moved <laughs> on, and the next thing I know, pow! How does that feel, Shalise? Mike, how did that feel? Um, it felt very humbling. Um, Mr. Watson, Terry Watson, the the uh, writer and. Uh, owner of the magazine um, is doing a great thing. He actually has magazines in different parts of the country mm -hmm. and we were featured on the Indianapolis um, version of it and um, edition of it and it was just good to find out his story how he's trying to highlight black businesses, yes. black entrepreneurs and we were very humble to be honored. Yes. Very, very, we thank God for that. I have been getting the subscription for his magazine and I thought about it. I'm like Duh, <laughs> this makes perfect sense. And I was like, I know the perfect people to feature. And I'm just glad that it zoomed in specifically on your mission and how you all really stand out as a firm of being faith-based, right, Michael? Yeah, and, and, and one of the things that I really like about his magazine is that it highlights the positivity of uh, the black community. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's really timely because I'm reading the book right now called uh, The Defender, which is... Uh, you know, talks about the creation of the first African American mag uh, newspaper, newspaper yes. Robert Abbott, yes, and, and the same stack. Family. Just how amazing it is, just to control our own narrative in the media is yes. extremely important. So I think people like you that get positive messages out about Black business, and this is just another step with Mr. Watson. So I'm happy that he's controlling kind of our narrative, yes. uh, not our narrative, but the African-American entrepreneur nar narrative, yeah. and really putting a positive light, because we need those stories to be told in our community. Absolutely. Absolutely, I'm all for it. I don't even know how to do negative, you know? Whether it's on social media or whatever, I'm always block, <laughs> delete, no, no, I'm Absolutely. allergic right. to negative. Absolutely. And if you missed it, or you're looking to see that cover in that article, please visit the Tober's Facebook page, it's on there, and then it's a vertical digital digital flip and you can flip and read some other interesting articles so moving on you all are just in all these different spaces how is the podcast going married people's business you're up to like three episodes now right yeah. uh yeah is it three it yeah, is we three. yeah we got one uh tomorrow this, yeah tomorrow fourth one yeah. yeah so i had the opportunity to sit in on one of the recordings <laughs> and just the hilariousness thereof is just endless when you were with our friends over at Popcorn World, um, Nina and LeBaron. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the others you've had and have coming up? Um, well, the last one we did was just the two of us talking about how to uh, write a memorable business plan. That's right. And so, um, and then the first one was just kind of introductory. Yes. And then this weekend, tomorrow, we are featuring um, the McDermott's. Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Judge Marissa Judge McDermott and uh, Mayor, Mayor McDermott. Of That's Hattie. gonna be the a great Mayor good one. Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. I'm looking forward to that one yes. because they're they're such a beautiful couple, and mm -hmm. the whole point of the podcast is highlighting married couples. 
and business. And this is a little bit of a different angle because mm -hmm. it's uh, it's business, but it's not really. It's more politics. Yeah. So they're such great people and such great politicians. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's a great judge. He's a great mayor. Yeah. And seeing how and they know, love all of that. Love West Indiana. They sure do. And, and, <laughs> yeah. and seeing how all of that works together in their marriage mm -hmm. to produce something that it really helps our region. I'm just looking forward to that I can't wait podcast. to watch that one. Now, if people are interested in seeing the past episodes, where do they go, Shalise? Um, they can watch on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Married People's Business. You can listen on Spotify, iHeartRadio, um, Amazon, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. These two. Um, they're all over the place. Podcasts. They are all over the place, and that's so awesome. But it's also tapping into your technical skills, Michael, and these toys. Yeah, yeah. man. I just bought a real nice toy. I'm not uh -huh. going to tell people how much it costs. It costs <laughs> uh -huh. too much. Uh -huh. And I got in trouble we, at home. We got Harpo Studios up in here. <laughs> right, Harpo. Well, I am excited because I like to find out things through the trial of others. So if it's good and it, it makes sense for me, then I'm all in. I will too. surely let you know. All right. all right. Well, make sure you all tune in to Married People's Business. Catch up on those episodes. Plus, you have Catching Up with the Tobits. Now, let's talk nonprofit. Michael, I heard you jumped in once again to help in the community, this time with one of my favorite organizations, the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, you know, I, I as a kid, I used to always go to the Boys and Girls Club to uh, swim. They had the pool mm -hmm. and the basketball. So uh, anytime they call uh, and ask for help, I try to reach out and, and help and touch the kids if I can. So they had a Youth of the Year uh, award and competition that they asked me to judge, and I judged it. And just listening to those kids, you know, I was just like, I don't remember being that sharp when yeah, I was a kid. Like, they are they like gave speeches mm -hmm. and they were just so mature and mm -hmm. talented and it was just great uh, to be a part of it. And shout out to Ellis Dumas uh, for giving me that opportunity to serve. And congratulations to Ellis because right. he just joined the team That's over right. there. And yeah. when I read that, I was so happy. Um, trivia, I, the Boys and Girls Club, that was my first job out of college. Oh, oh wow. wow. I was a journalism program instructor. Oh, cool. And I taught the students about writing yeah. and careers in journalism. So it comes full circle because I'm still a volunteer and have coached many of those students oh, for wow. Youth of the Year. Had a winner. Shout out to Orlando Jennings. He's like grown, grown now. <laughs> that's how long we've been doing it. And that's how amazing that program is. So thank you for doing that. Anytime. Shalice. There's a designation out there, once again, super lawyers. Can you let everybody know why you all are super lawyers? Um, well, God has blessed us to be recognized once again as uh, super lawyers in Indiana for 2022. And we are just definitely humbled and honored to accept that recognition. So everything was released um, earlier this month, the hard copy and digital magazine which is also on your page if they want to check that out. Michael, what does it take to be a super lawyer? Well, I always say God, we give God the glory first and foremost because without him, none of this would be possible. And, you know, also just having a beautiful partner. Um, you can't do anything without a partner in life mm -hmm. and in business. And then and then thirdly, I would say our clients. Mm -hmm. You know, our clients, we have, every, every day I wake up, I thank God for having really great clients. They really are patient with us. Uh, you know, they give us good quality work to do and uh, give us the opportunity to really, you know, to serve them. So yes. that's what it takes. It just yes. takes God, a good partner and great clients. Great clients. And we want to continue to, to service, service our clients. Now, you know, that's a wonderful designation. And I know that you all, you get the designation and you're kind of like, ah, okay. You, you keep it moving because you're so humble about it. And I'm like, no, no, this is a big thing. Let's tell everybody. So put it on me. I'll tell it everybody. There's always someone new who tunes into Catching Up with the Tolbers. And so I always ask that you give an overview of what, what type of law you cover just to make sure when people say, well, I'm just going to call them. They want to make sure that, you know, you're in the right field mm -hmm. to service them. So we do all civil work, civil litigation. Um, 
We do uh, personal injury. When you're injured in an accident or somehow injured, um, we can represent you. We also do that from the other side because sometimes companies hire us, insurance companies hire us to represent their insureds that get sued. Mm -hmm. um, we do business litigation. We draft contracts and review contracts. We help people set up and form entities like LLCs and corporations. Um, Michael is a mediator. Uh, going to court today, right? I am. Okay. I have a mediation today. Yes. Okay. I uh, do some estate planning, including draftings of wills and powers of attorneys, uh, transfer on death deeds. Um, what am I leaving out? That's no, I think that's that's pretty good. Everything. It's comprehensive, okay. yes. Okay. Yeah, and I always bring that up because somebody called me the other day, like, I have some estate stuff. And I was like, stop. <laughs> Shalice. I was like, call Shalice and she can get you started or to point you in the right direction. So it does my heart joy to be able to give referrals. And every time I just listen really carefully about what law you cover so I'm not leading people down the wrong path. But if it's, you're in a fender bender, my neck, my back, call the call me Sue. <laughs> what is the website and the phone number? Oh, well, she's, she has such a radio voice. Doesn't so she? Do I really? Yes, yeah. you do. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> The website is tobertlegal.com. Um, our office address, 1085 Broadway, Suite B, Gary, Indiana, on the corner of 11th and Broadway, and the telephone number is 219-427-0094. Is that radio on that for you? That sounds like a jingle. Oh, well, then we got to get a jingle going. <laughs> you already have that fancy intro to the podcast, and I asked for the contact <laughs> information because... We have updates on the hiring front and people need to call in. You got some good news, but you still got some openings, right? Right, right. So we finally filled our uh, paralegal position. Yay. Thank God. Uh, our new paralegal, Jayla Jarrett, she is fresh from uh, college and working a bit uh, while in school. She graduates in May with her master's degree. So awesome. uh, she started uh, last week, the beginning of last week. So the paralegal position is filled. Okay. However, and she's a resident, <laughs> resident she's a Gary. of Gary. Right. Oh, she's a right. Gary resident, Gary native. Um, Did she go to West Side? Uh, work. She, she might I think have. she went to work. Okay. Believe, yeah, but got she, Gary. Work Emerson. <laughs> okay, now, okay. But she's still Gary. And um, she went to school in Indianapolis and came back, intentionally nice. came back, wanting to work at home. Oh, so we love that. I love it. Yeah. So the um, position we still need to fill is for a bookkeeper. Okay. Uh, accounting type positions. Number crunchers, where are you? Yes. What do they need to do if they want to apply? If you want to apply, please email your resume to S as in Sam, T-O-L-B-E-R-T -E at TobertLegal.com. Coming straight to the boss, right? Um, by the way, Michael always says that Tobert and Tobert, that first Tobert is this one, <laughs> right? Is it still like yeah, that? I know, I'm I married know into bed, it. I know when my bread is butter. So of course, <laughs> first Tobert is the first Tobert. All right. <laughs> I'm married into the name. He's, he's good. Well, um, Amber, I, I want to make sure that we are on time. I know that you all have a busy, busy Friday, but I wanted to pop in and catch up with you. Is there anything else you want to share with the audience before we get out of here? Anything coming down the, the path, nonprofit or any big cases? You all did win a big case recently that we called out in your newsletter. Look at Michael. He's like, we won so many. I don't, I don't know. So I won't put you on the spot. It's like, it's yeah, so uh, many of them. Well, just thinking, it, we, we have had a, a few cases come through. So. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a blessing yeah, it is in, a itself, blessing, yeah. it is. in yeah. itself. It is. Well, I will let you know that as we ramp up for more opportunities to talk to young people and mentor, um, that you all are the perfect candidates for that. I just wanted to share with the audience on any given time, you will see them in our schools and in various organizations talking about what they do. And so I invite you also to reach out in that capacity, should your schedule, when your schedule allows, you two are very open to talking to young people about the field of law. Yes, we are. All right. I would say, I would also add before we leave is happy Women's History Month to you two and you. to Amber, who's behind the camera, who no one can see, but she's making all the wheels turn yes, for us. Yes, she does. But uh, just, you know, thanks, thanks to all the women out there doing what you do, and we appreciate you all. Well, that's Thank a you. great way Thank to you. wrap this up and put a bow on it. I have been your host today, Chelsea Whittington, catching up with attorneys Michael and Shalise Tolbert, located right here at 1085 Broadway in beautiful Gary, Indiana. Make sure you follow them on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. 
catch their podcasts, watch for their newsletter coming out next week. They're all over the place and I am glad about it. Until next time, everybody have a safe and happy weekend. Take care. Bye. Have a nice weekend.